In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square method. So the very first thing, we are going to go ahead and make sure that only x variables must be on the left hand side. And we must get rid of this negative 15. So I'm going to add 15 on both sides like this. So what happens next is this thing is gone and we get 3x squared plus 4x equals 15. So the next step, I want to make sure that the leading coefficient must be 1. And for this 1 over here is 3. So we need to make sure that this should be 1. So we must divide this by 3. All the terms are divided by 3. That means this 3 and 3 cancels out. So we get x square plus 4 over 3x equals 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Next step, I want you to look at the coefficient of x. Only 4 over 3 here. Just disregard this sign. And want you to write down somewhere here. And now I want you to take the half of this one. Taking the half of this number is simply multiplying this number by 1 over 2. So once you do that, that's going to give you what? 4 over 3 times 1 over 2 equals 4 times 1 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6. So 4 over 6. I want you to reduce this fraction. That turns out to be 2 thirds. And now whatever you got, you must take the square of this one. So we are going to add this quantity on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do the next step. x square plus 4 over 3x and I'm going to write equal to 5. Now let's write down 2 thirds squared on this side and 2 thirds squared on this side as well. Now you can see this left hand side is a complete square of what? You have x and then the positive sign in between and this two thirds inside this parenthesis. Let's go ahead and write it in this parenthesis. So we have x plus two thirds only and then complete square equals five plus two square is four and three square is nine. So you have four over nine. Therefore, we have x plus two third the whole square is equal to 5 plus 4 over 9. So the next thing is I want you to add these two quantities. So let's write 5 as a fraction with denominator of 1. So 5 over 1 plus 4 over 9. The simplest way is to simply cross multiply them. 5 times 9 is 45 and whatever is the sign just put in and then multiply 4 times 1 which is equal to 4 and divide it by the bottom numbers are what? 1 and 9. We multiply them. 1 times 9 equals 9. So 45 plus 4 divided by 9. So we get 45 over 9. So this is the simplest way you can add or subtract any two fractions. I have also uploaded many videos on this before. So let's go ahead, take care of this thing. x plus 2 thirds the whole square is equal to 49 over 9. The next step, we want to get rid of this square because we want to solve for x. So how to undo this square? We are going to take square root on both sides. Square root on this side with positive and negative sign as well. So you can see the square and square root gets cancelled here. We get x plus 2 thirds is equal to plus or minus square root of 49 is 7 and square root of 9 is 3. So we get plus or minus 7 over 3. Now I want to isolate x. So I'm going to subtract 2 thirds on both sides. So what happens next is the whole thing cancels out. So we get x equals plus or minus 7 thirds minus 2 thirds. Now I want you to split this positive and negative sign. So it simply becomes plus 7 thirds minus 2 thirds and minus 7 thirds minus 2 thirds. So since we have common denominator of 3, we're going to get plus 7 minus 2 over 3. So x equals to 5 thirds. So our first solution turns out to be x equals to 5 thirds. And the next one is negative 7 
negative 2 over 3 so x equals to negative 9 over 3 and x is equal to negative 3 and that's the second solution or if you want to write differently you can write it as thus our solution set is negative 3 comma 5 thirds and that's your answer thanks for watching and thanks for supporting always and making lk logic the best channel ever thank you so much bye bye take care